this is Johannes. And this is Cinema. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And welcome back to Keep or Cull, where we play our whole collection and decide if we want to keep the games or cull them out of our collection. That's it. If this is the first time you've ever seen this video, we have made many of them. Because yes. this was supposed to be like a one year thing and it's now like 16 years since we started, I feel like. Today is a pretty big episode. Oh yeah. We have 18 games. That's a lot. Do -do 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 -do, some smaller games, some bigger games. You'll soon see them if you follow along on this video, which is starting right now. Do you want to be the beginner? Yes. Yes. I will. Uh, first game is Draftosaurus. Yes, Draftosaurus. It's a game about drafting sauruses. Dinosaurs. Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready yes. with the paddle? Yeah, I am. We, we, one, two, three. Boom! Oh, I was supposed to go keep, oh. but I'm okay with Cal. <laughs> but but I actually was ple pleasantly surprised because yes. this is such a simple game, mm -hmm. and it's so easy to get to the table. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing here, Richard, you have a little like area for your dinosaur. A park, player board. A player board. I was trying to be thematic, <laughs> like a, a dinosaur park. Yes. And then what you do on your turn is you have like a lot of these dinosaur beeples in your hand, and you take one of them, and then you send them away. Like you're drafting. explaining this like people never played but a drafting game before. I, I haven't drafted meeples before. No, that's and true. And I haven't drafted dinosaur meeples. That is true. Especially, so I so thought it was clever. Yes, and and I'm fine with keeping it. It doesn't matter for me because it's a fun game and it's very simple and quick. So it's like easy to get out to play with people mm -hmm. and it plays up to five. So you decide. Keep or cut. Cut. Oh, okay. Yes. Ha -ha. I'm going to start off with a small game called Whale to Look. This is another one from uh, or another one. This is one from Oink Games. It is another one because yes, we have played many other games. games. Yes, this is not the first game from Oink Games. Are you ready to paddle? Yes. And this is from Bruno Duty and another person. Which is not Jun Bruno Fai. Sa Saki. No one is Saki. There's no it's Saki. So Saki. That's correct. Yes. Now let's do the thing. Yeah. One, two, three, boom. Cool. This was a weird game. It was mm -hmm. not very fun. And I didn't like it too much, and now we're calling it. It's deduction about uh, finding the area with the most fish and the least fish. Yes. And I, I like deduction, but I'd rather play another deduction game. And it wasn't fun. Yes, it I agree. It was a game. Another <laughs> oink game. More correct saying this it now. This is Order Overload, a Spiel 24, 23. <laughs> Not in the future. Uh, special edition game. Yes. Yes, you ready? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Boom! I like this game so much. It's hilarious. I, like, I didn't... It came out of nothing for it me. It came out of nothing. It was so unexpected, mm -hmm. is what I meant to say. Yes. So it is... It, Order Overload is... Another game another called game. Order Overload Cafe. Yes, and I would love that as well. But yes. now, since this is the version we have, yes. I like it. So so we have a lot of games from from these companies. Yes, Itten, Salsi and Sashi, and Oink. Oink. Uh, which was released, or they the had... Older uh, yeah, games. Older games. Yes. Yeah, older games. Yes, they couldn't do with all the, the years like releases. Stonehenge really... and the Sun. Yes. <laughs> or, or something about an yes, egg. that was true. Yes, nice egg. And, and you have to then uh, try to remember them all. That basically the Great game. explanation. Sounds of so the game. good. <laughs> but it's really fun. I want to keep this. Yes, you are, to explain it now, you start explaining it. Yeah. You shuffle up cards and you like play levels. You shuffle up more mm -hmm. and more cards. One person reads all those cards and you deal them out to other players. And in your turn, you have to say a card that's not in your hand but it's in another player's hand. And then they discard it and you're trying to, to, to make people not have cards left in their hand. Mm -hmm. Fantastic fun. I think like Cafe is going to be even more available to people because yes. it's not game names. Mm -hmm. But a great one. Next up we're going to have Doom Links. And this is like a casual card game uh, sent to us by the publisher. Now we played it. Now we're ready for the thing. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. The Boom. thing. Oh uh, yeah. Um, it's a casual game. Yes. As you said. But it's not... Entirely casual, no, so it kind of falls between two casual. chairs. Mm -hmm. Or do you say that in English as well? Like, I, I think so. Yeah. I, I don't uh, agree with you one hundred percent, but mm -hmm. you can continue saying the thing. So, uh, you, pl I, please explain the game. I, uh, I, yeah, we, it's a card game. You're trying to play the best cards. It has to be take that some little mm, uh, yes. strategy and stuff like that, and tactics. Uh, I think it's a good game. I think it's a fun game, but it wasn't one that I would choose to play. Like it's in that party game genre, just like a tad more of a game. 
than like the party games of Unstable Unicorns, Exploding Kittens and all of that. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed it, but it's not one I will ever choose to play. But when I played it, I can see who this is for. Oh yeah, I enjoyed my time with it. But if I'm going to pick a party game, I would go for something even lighter than yes. this, was, which and is just like silly. I, I maybe. wouldn't really call it a party game. Like it's more of a it's a card a light light yeah, card light game. Light card game. It's I agree. not a party game, but it's a fun one for people looking for that, but just not one that I need to have. Fantasy Realms. Yes. I was really looking forward to this because some people have said that it has the same mechanisms as something else. Yes. I love it that Red Rising is Thank the you. And I, I love it. You're looking forward to it because some people said that it had the same mechanisms. You have like the greatest reasons yeah, you said to it. be excited because it is Red Rising is based on all of this, so yes, it's not like some but people I was, said. But my mind was thinking Red 7, which is another game it entirely, is. and yes. that didn't match up. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, One, I am. two, three, boom! Yay! We called. And I've Red already Rising? already forgotten the name. <laughs> Red Rising. Too many games! But I feel like this is a really cool way, and this came before, yes. right? But I'm not talking about it the other way around because I played Red Rising that first. But this, I feel like, has taken what I really like about <laughs> Red Rising and simplified it. Well, okay, so Red Rising has overcomplicated it, is what I meant to it's say. It's basically the same game, just but with like, it's bigger, better. and I like this better. Yeah, it's fun. Next up, we are actually going to have Exploding Kittens. This is Good versus Evil. Uh, this was sent us from Asmodee, thank you. Uh, it was one that I I never played Exploding Kittens, and I was like, it's one that I should play. Like, I should have played Exploding Kittens. Mm. Uh, and this is like Good versus Evil. We played it with somebody who had played Exploding Kittens, yes. the original. And there's like a few changes, but not a lot of changes, like a couple of new cards and new artwork. And now we played it. Now we're gonna mm -hmm. do the thing. One, two, three, boom! Oh, you're keeping exploding yes. kittens. That was very surprising. I love this. Uh, yeah, cool. I think this was great. I mm -hmm. think that this did exactly what it tried to do in a very fun way. Super silly, very quick, uh, and very easy to play with everybody. Mm -hmm. And and it's just like one. It's so simple to get out to play. And it's just like it's enough there to make it like oh but well, i have this little cool thing i want to mm. do or no i don't do that but i can do this trick and, and these small things just made it a fun game for me i agree it, you care enough to to be it's player elimination in the game mm -hmm. but the game it's 15 minutes yes so it doesn't really matter and as you said it's it's a little silly and it's wonky and it's crazy and it's supposed to do that. So I enjoy it. I, I don't mind keeping it. And also people are going to go out in the first like two minutes of the game. If you're not super unlucky and don't like the Explorer Kittens two times yes, because you can survive that one That can time. happen. It can, but then you can just start again or That's play true. it for 15 minutes and people mm -hmm. are going to be on their phone anyways. <laughs> okay. Next up we have King, King of Tokyo, Tokyo Origins. Origins. This one was actually one that we were planning to do a review of but just like time is flying so fast and also it is king of tokyo like yeah. there was no changes so this is my review of king of tokyo origins paddle uh, or yes let's yes, do the paddle, paddle first yeah hmm, i have to think one two three boom okay i'm actually this because we have the dark edition oh already, yeah that is cooler which i really love yeah, i like agree it's a, it's, yes it's the artwork edition. is cooler and so King of Tokyo Origins is basically, as I understood it, it's gonna be it's a cheaper version of King of Tokyo, and it goes only up to four people instead of up to six people. So it's kind of like the drawback. You get it for cheaper. I think it's like a Target exclusive in the U.S. I'm not 100% sure on my facts, uh, but it has some new monsters. So if you are collecting the hundreds of monsters, you're gonna get this. Um, but other than that. Uh, it really depends like if you know you're not gonna be more than four people and you want to see okay What is this all about you can get it pretty cheap and it's still King of Tokyo and King of Tokyo is a fun game I agree. Uh, But for me, I would rather have like the cool black edition of King of Tokyo Yes, because I forgot that we had another mm -hmm. version. I was just like, okay, cool. I it's, This is cool to have. Yes, I agree Like King of Tokyo is one that I I think like if you have a large enough connection to collection, it's one that makes sense to have in the mm -hmm. collection. I agree. So we are calling that for that reason. Next up, we're gonna have one we played a long time ago, one of Cinema's favorite games of all time, and we 
<laughs> play this and we're like oh we're gonna put it in keeper call then we put it somewhere and we forgot about it and then we said like oh we have to remember that next time we do keeper call and that's like four months ago yes so now we finally remember it's there uh king town center <laughs> how about we are I you was, like the I was shocked now when you pulled it from the from the pile. She's like, have you played that? Yes. And yes, we did. A long do. time ago, but we liked the designer, we Alban do. Yard. Yes. Made some fantastic games, clinic, uh, tramways, mm -hmm. a small city, which mm -hmm. is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to do the paddle on this one. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and boom! You're never getting rid of it because oh. it's a fantastic game. Great designer. Rubbish game. Well, it's rubbish I, because I always lose and I don't get it. And I it's so say, hard and it's so punishing. And yes. I just, I hate my time with it. And it's only 30 minutes long. And you will play it with me because you like me. No. Yes. No, uh, well, I will not. Because this is a super I cool. I only played it with you now because <laughs> I was just like, oh, I have, I need to play to call it. To <laughs> It's a great game. It is a, uh, don't listen to her, it's a 3D puzzle game where everything needs to be adjacent to specific things, both upwards, downwards, to the sides, in different levels, and there's just like so, it can be mean, and, and but the, 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 the thing that I win every time I play it means that it's also not just luck. It's a lot to have to do with what you do, mm. and it's a very fun game. I enjoy it a lot. If you like shorter, brain melting, uh, 3D puzzle games, which are mean and fun, play it. It's fun. Town Center will never leave the collection. Mm. Next up, we have another game. Yes. Carcassonne. It's the Carcassonne. It's the anniversary edition. Do -do -do -do. It's the 20th. 20th. I think it's 20th. I, I think, think you're yes. right. And uh, we play this with our nephew. Yeah. That's why we play the game because mm -hmm. we did a video. Of this mm -hmm. when it came out like a comparison video yes and now we played it mm -hmm. and now we're doing the paddle yes are you ready for the paddle i am one two three boom we we need to have one version of carcassonne in the collection it's fun to say that yeah. because the last time we played carcassonne and if we keep our yeah. we were like we don't need to have this in the collection but i think i knew that we had this no it didn't didn't it didn't oh. exist it wasn't even out yet <laughs> but i like looked this. into the future yes and our nephew really did enjoy it as yes. well and i think the artwork think is really won. yeah he did actually and the artwork in this is really nice it's fun and it's it, i'm keeping it because of nostalgia i'm fine with never playing it again mm. but carcassonne is a really nice game i i love like the just like puzzling yeah we're not gonna put it out to play it to two of us, but it's one that I, I agree with your assessment of, of playing it. Next up, we're gonna have Coffee Rush. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom. The less said, the better. Kill this it is, with fire. This is, no, it's, it's just like, it's... Well, it's just not fun. It's just nothing. Like, it's yes. very uninspiring. Just doesn't give me a, any good feelings. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, I was like, oh, because I like these puzzle things. I like, oh, I have to move, I have to not go where you are. And then just like, I'm doing the same thing and it's not engaging and it's not fun. And there's some special abilities. There's a couple of things you can do, but most of the time you're just doing the same thing in a very boring way. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to play it again. What I really didn't enjoy about it is that you get new coffee orders and those are random. So yes. some people can get really easy ones and some can get some hard ones. And the more coffee orders that your neighbor uh, completes, yes. the more you get. Mm -hmm. And it just isn't satisfying. No, it, it's it's a game. I We played it. I don't want to play it again. We're done. Next stop is another game. This one is not called Coffee Rush. It's called... A how. A how. A how. Yes. Rulers how. of Yucatan. Y Yucatan. Y Yucatan. How yes. do you say it? Yucatan. Okay. Maybe. Okay, this is the game. This, we played it, and now let's do the paddle. Yes. Welcome to paddle time. One, two, three, boom. It's a cow. Double cow. Double calling all the way across the sky. I think that this game had some cool ideas. I because, like the game. Yeah, I, I did like the game, but I didn't like playing it because it was so hard playing it. Yes. Because it was very unintuitive to me. Mm -hmm. Because you had these uh, gods 
or is it called gods? I think gods, so. Yes. That you are worshipping mm -hmm. and that is an, kind of an action you can do. And I always forgot what happened when you were praying to these different gods because they didn't like the god of water or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not I'm just making that, things up. Yeah. Um, he could like move a dude and then remove a dude from the map. For example, I'm just making things up again. And, and I, I just like... At first, you're kind of, okay, we're learning the game, mm -hmm. but also at the end of the game, I was still not getting what these gods yes. were doing. Yeah. And it was, yeah, hard. I enjoyed the gameplay. I just don't see myself ever choosing to play it again, mm -hmm. which is basically the reason for yeah. calling it. Next up, we're going to have a classic game. A classic game. Witticulture! We got to play Witticulture again. We hadn't played it for like eight years mm -hmm. or something like that. We played Viticulture Essential Edition with Tuscany Essential because you need to play it with, with that or else it's going to be worse. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes. For the paddle? Yes. One, two, three, boom. Yes. I'm ready to call it now. Double call. Double call. I, I, I was looking forward to play it again because mm -hmm. I remember Viticulture, the Essential Edition, yes. as a really fun game. Mm -hmm. And I love worker placement and I think this is a cool like way of making worker placement with the different seasons. Yeah. And that is really clever, but the game felt, felt very long and I felt also a bit random to me with the, with the cards that sometimes it was useful, sometimes it was less useful. And overall, it felt like it took the brain capacity of a heavy game, but it didn't give me that enjoyment. Um, maybe I just did poorly in it. Uh, that happened too, but but yeah. Uh, yeah, I I, I I like playing it again. I was like, it was fun playing Viticulture again. Now I never need to play it again. Mm, yeah. It's just like it's a game that's always been there, but it's I, yes, it's it's fun. I, en I understand why people think it's fun. Yes. It's just like I don't need it anymore in my life. More games. Gods Next up, of Rome. Yay! One, two, three. Boom. Boom! Let's not talk about it. We kind of did on, on the game of the month. Yeah. It's it's not fun. No. Like that's 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 the summary. It's just like it's it had some clever ideas. I read the rules like, oh, these are some very clever ideas. I like these ideas. Did not like the game. It was boring. Let's put it in the cow pile. Yes. And I have another game. It's this one called Delta. Mm -hmm. And this is from Game Brewer. Uh, a Kickstarter backing and now the panel. Yes. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. It's oh. a keep from me. Wow. Because I want to play it again. Oh, okay. I, I didn't feel like I'm done with it. Okay. Maybe. When are you going to choose to play this? No, game? that's the problem. Because I didn't enjoy it that much. It was cool, but, but cool enough to keep? Hmm, now I'm unsure. Because I liked all the things about the game. You're trying to look at the back? Yes, it was nothing on the back. To, to like I may was... help you decide? Yes. The thing is, I enjoyed the game, but like as we said, the newer the game is, the easier it is yes, for me to call. Yes, that's true. And especially when you played it and you got like, the way we play games makes us call not bad games. Mm -hmm. Because when we play a game and we're like, that was fun. I'm never going to choose that game mm -hmm. again. You can decide. I... But I thought it had some cool things because yes, you're playing absolutely. cards uh, and the cards decide how good that action is going to be or mm -hmm. if you're getting some bonuses for that action. Mm -hmm. And the, the where you play your cards, you're kind of worker placing cards yep. in a weird way because that also decides your initiative or your like tie breaks the initiative for for yeah something else afterwards. Um, so I thought that was... <laughs> That was cool. I want to explore it okay. a little more. Let's keep it then. Yes. And next up is on your side. And it's Tree Ring Circus. Yes, from the rear makes a lot of these great small boxes. Yes, and also from love the box. Fabio Piano um, and also Remo Considori. Uh, but Fabio Piano, one of our favorite designers, uh, or working his way up to be is like doing some great stuff. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom. It's a double curl. Yes. I think the game is fun. Mm -hmm. I just don't need to play it more. Yes, you played I agree. it just once. I played it a few times. Mm -hmm. I I like the game. I like the theme. I like what you're doing in it. It's just not engaging enough for me to play more than I have already done. 
it feels a little stressful because you're it's, it's, a, it's a player interactive like how long the game mm -hmm. is going going to last yeah and i like that you're you're trying to build up your troops and trying to have the right cards in the light yeah <laughs> Um, in the right row mm -hmm. to get points and yeah points basically and then when the wagon moves along you're trying to like squeeze in on the scorings that mm -hmm. it triggers and that was fun but i agree i i thought the, the little small tents of your place yes. are really cute great components and artwork yes. and a fun game not just one i need to keep i agree so it's on your side uh how many games do you have left one, uh, one. i have two games the next one is the Fox Experiment, uh, another one from Kickstarter, it's like a deluxe edition with all the stuff in it. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom! Boom! Double curl again. This game was fun and I, I, like I really like the theme of mm -hmm. this game. It feels really thematic and but it's a little, I thought it was a bit long. I thought it was fun to you're drafting the foxes mm -hmm. and based of those the attributes on the foxes you're rolling some dice and then you get new attributes on the the fo fox fox cubs yes um and, and you you're breeding basically and that that was fun mm -hmm. yes i like the game the first time i played it didn't like it then we played it more and i liked it more but it's i'm, I'm happy that i got to play it yeah, i it don't need really to play fun. it again yes so another one on your side if oh, you have i have really... a lot of yes. games on my side now a little bit more yes. there you go last game on your side portals, portals are from crowd games another mm -hmm. one that was sent uh, to us from the publisher thank you so much are you ready to do the thing? Yes. One, two, three, boom! Another double call. Yes. This was a kind of weird game. Like, we like abstract games quite a bit. And this one had a great mechanism that I loved. The fact that you are playing on, like, you're, you're sharing boards. I like this more theor theoretically. Te theor I don't know. Theoretically. I like it not that much in the game. Because you have, like, this shared board. So we played with four people. Uh, I'm going to have like one shared board with you and one with a player sitting on that side and so on and so forth. And and then when you place this, you're going to place these tiles. It has like a sci-fi theme, but it's completely abstract, so it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And you're placing these um, tiles with, or like these, these um, shapes, shapes of, of symbols on it and trying to match and stuff like that. So people are, you can, uh, you're drafting these so to place cards to place them on. And then you're trying to be the first to play, so you can place there where you want to play before somebody else places where you want to play. And uh, it can happen that people always build on your side, so when it's your turn, you don't really have anywhere to place, which happened. It wasn't like a huge thing, but all in all, I just thought the game was fine. And I I now played it, and I don't need to play it more. Mm -hmm. I agree that like the concept, I mm -hmm. think, is cool. Not yes. the theme. No. Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually wish that this had another theme yeah. that connected more to what you're actually doing in the yeah, game. Yeah, because the artwork also doesn't match yeah, the sci-fi Yeah, it doesn't match theme, at all, no. which felt very, very like I got disconnected from mm -hmm. it, but the, I, okay, that's fine. If I love the, the, comp, the what do you call it, the, the gameplay, yes. I would see past that easily. Um, but I love that you're trying to place these symbols in a shape that you're like, you're planning for it on the yep. board. Like, okay, I'm planning it there. What are you building? Are you trying to build on the same spaces that I am? I think it's cool also that you're getting points not only for matching like the, the, the symbols with where you're placing them, but after a while you can get a lot of points by placing something else there because mm -hmm. it, it, it's adjacent to other stuff, which I thought was cool. But it didn't feel... Mm, yeah, cool enough to keep, mm -hmm. basically. Okay, last game of the day is another space game, which is more thematic than the last one. It's Last Light from Roy Kennedy. This is one that I did back on Kickstarter or GameFound, I think it was GameFound. And now we're doing the panel. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. One, two, three, boom. Oh, you're calling it? I thought this was so fun. I want to keep it. Okay, yeah. Because cause... I really loved... I didn't see myself loving a mm -hmm. game in this category, but I, I did really enjoy it. I'm thinking this, that if you kept, if you chose Keep, 
I was going to be happy with that, but I also didn't mind calling it. Okay, because yeah. Because there's so many games, and, 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 and I liked it, but I don't know when I'm going to play it again. Which is the thing you usually say. Yay. So I don't think we can get all of these in, so just like, no. what is your best and worst experience of this bunch? I think the worst experience has to be Gods of Rome or Coffee Rush. Uh -huh. that was, those were boring. I agree. And best experience, I, I Lost Light was my favorite. My best experience is going to be Order Overload, oh, yeah, actually, because so this fun. was just so fun and worst experience is going to be in gods of rome mm -hmm. so that's the end if you are here and you like what we do then you can subscribe to our channel sorry i said a thing you can help us out in a big way by giving us a victory points oh you've already spoiled it well you can subscribe to our channel yes. it's a button down there you didn't say that ha -ha, you would have never have won <laughs> known that, that. True. yes and that's going to be the end thank you so much for watching i'm johannes i'm cinema and you've been watching board gaming ramblings and bye bye